We just got ChatGPT Vision and Dolly 3. So let's just look at a ton of examples. So first off, if you've been waiting for multimodal ChatGPT access, you can actually download the Bing app and use it right now. You can see Nick here took a photo, ask it to describe it and then conversationally edited it. As you can see here, it's describing in detail what it actually is. Then he's asking again, can you generate an image that based on those description? And he literally got a bunch of different same type of images made with Dolly 3. Can you make the cup black and the drawing of the dog white? And we got some results there as well. Next up, we have a website where you can just upload a picture of a design and the agent autonomously codes it up. Look at renders for mistakes, improve the code accordingly and repeats. So here you can see he literally copied the home page of Google in code and he can start using it himself. Here, ChatGPT Vision breaks down a diagram of a human cell for a ninth grader. This is the future of education. I'm feeding this diagram of a human cell into GPT-4 Vision and I'm simulating, hey, I'm a ninth grade biology student struggling in school, help me understand this. And check this out. Look at the ability of this model, student in the world now, this incredible multimodal Tutored. I mean, just, like, just imagine if you have this in school. This is incredible. ChatGPT4 Vision just directed a full on product photography shoot for Halloween and Christmas. So he fed it this one in here vitamin A capsule. And literally, it goes through a bunch of different things until Doll E3 puts out this picture. She says, I wanted to take it a step further. So I asked it to direct a Christmas themed photo shoot. And these are the results. I can't believe that even the shine on the bottle is just perfect from image to live website using GPT-4 Vision and Replit in less than a minute. So he starts off with this website here is quite low resolution as you can see, but it looks like a music app or something like that. It just starts writing the code. A few seconds later, copy the code and paste the code in here. Click on run and pretty much the exact same website. Peter Yang gave ChatGPT this image. What movie is this from? What is the person saying? And it's saying it's a film Gladiator and the person saying, are you not entertained? I'm pretty entertained. And now a word from our sponsors. Here's how to clone your voice in 60 seconds. Go to myvocal.ai and click on the clone voice button. As you can see, we need to record all these phrases. So that's what I'm going to do now. You can also upload an audio file. Maybe that's easier for you or to train on other people's voices. <laughs> As you can see, all of them now recorded. I'm gonna click on submit. Congratulations. Let's check out my custom voice. Let's name him AI Andy. Text to speech. I've written something. Let's submit. Let's play it. What's up, machine learners? Leave a comment about what you ate today. This TTS audio is provided by myvocal.ai. <laughs> That's actually really good. What? Let me try to do more. Try number two. What do you call a blonde who dyes her hair brown? Artificial intelligence. <laughs> it just occurred to me that the opposite of artificial intelligence is real stupid. I hear they've made a new artificially intelligent Oreo. No way. It's one smart cookie. How come it literally sounds like me? So go to myvocal.ai to clone your voice, clone your friends, clone your dad. So click my link in the description down below to head to myvocal.ai. Thank you so much for sponsoring this section of the video. This guy, Sean, put this image into ChatGPT. And if you'd give this to an actual person, they'd just go, I don't know, while ChatGPT is saying, it's a complex flowchart detailing the various stages, processes, and decision points involved in defense acquisition and life cycle management. Thank you. <laughs> there is no way that it can do this image of Afghanistan stability slash coin dynamics. He already knows exactly what it is. This guy has put a pretty complex automation from make.com as an image into ChatGPT and it basically says here's step number one, two, three and explains exactly what is going on. What if you ask it, describe this dish estimate its calories and then give me the recipe. Well, not only does it know that it's a 
prepared rack of limb grilled to perfection with a golden brown crust from a marinade or glaze. You can even see the grain beneath adding up to a total of 800 to 1000 calories. Even this dish here, which looks like um Michelin star restaurant type thing. Here you got the 10 ingredients and the instruction. This one is hilarious with like this don't park here during this hour saying here it's Wednesday at 4 p.m. Can I park at this spot right now? And um, yeah, for one hour starting at 4 p.m. This guy gave a picture of a book with solve all these problems you see here. Take a deep breath and think step by step. You are incredible at this little confidence right there. It starts answering every single question. So before teachers were scared of ChatGPT and the writing abilities. Well, now all the math and science take a picture of it and it's solved ChatGPT image recognition can find hidden gems here you can just see where is this and it's literally giving answer it strongly resembles the view from makapu point on the island of oahu in hawaii imagine i take an image down the street and it can just recognize what street i'm on mckay gave it an image of a SaaS company design with bar charts and diagrams some buttons on the side and asked chat to make it so it basically started coding the thing and just like that it's literally live. This is the type of thing that just fascinates me so much. And it's definitely something I want to dive deeper into. I have an idea for a SaaS that I do have like a SaaS idea that wouldn't take that much time. If I could use an AI tool like this, subscribe to follow the journey. Pietro is saying this is absolutely wild. I'm completely speechless. So here, what do you think is the meaning of this image? So the first image, I'm glad we all agree. And then they see, oh, it's actually they don't agree, right? And then they have to reshape and restack them. And then they all agree. So everybody's on the same page. ChatGPT basically explains all of this in four steps and seeing that it highlights the importance of communication, understanding and alignment in group settings. If you drew something on a whiteboard, you can now turn that into a website. As you can see, email name on the first slide here. As you can see here, it says, are you over 18 McKay? And then there's a yes, no. And essentially, if you click yes, you go to the top site. And if you're under, you go to the sorry kid version site. It's funny that it can't only make like the design of a website, but you can probably also do if you click this, then this happens and basically make a flow of your entire software even before starting to program, giving it an image and then it starts making the entire thing. Building has never been easier than before. Marco says, great understanding of the electronics schematics of the Arduino designed by GPT-4 Vision. So he gave it this image right here and asked, what is it? Well, this image presents a schematic diagram of an electronic electronic circuit. Let me provide a breakdown of the components. So I think AI is going to be even better at making these schematics to begin with. What about GPT-4 vision for interior design? Here you can see a room, like a living room, maybe New York City looking like skyscraper type. First, introduce some accent colors, maybe inspired by Italian designers since you're original from Italy. <laughs> That's awesome. This could be in the form of cushions, art, or other decor items. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Give it a little pop of color. Also lighting and plants to create a cozy atmosphere. What if you put an image of bad handwriting into the software? Can you read this? Yep. Here is the transcript. I love how schools are going to ban ChatGPT and they're going to use handwriting, but then the teachers are just going to plug the handwriting into ChatGPT. <laughs> and then also like grade it for me. If you ask him to find Waldo, he can actually find him. Yes, ChatGPT can now see images. It can also hear and see text. It can even create amazing images through Dolly. But when can I give it my YouTube video and say, edit all the silences out, add some transitions. That's what I'm excited about. And I'm waking up every day waiting for that moment. So I guess we just have to wait. If you like this video, consider joining the Patreon down below for exclusive content. Also, keep watching my videos by clicking here and I'll see you in the next one.